So now that we have our image done, we're going to transfer it onto the metal. Now, each piece of metal has a silver side and a copper side. You can choose what you want your design to be on, but the design will be facing down. So I want copper, so I have the copper side facing down. Line it up and tape it down. Now, I have cut some of these inside the classroom to exactly eight and a half by 11 um, with my paper cutter, but some people may have gotten one sent home if you're still doing virtual learning. It's a little bit too big, that's fine. You can still transfer it on it, and then you can cut off the excess, which is normal scissors. But I'm gonna use mine that's cut eight and a half by 11. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this next part on top of some foam core or on top of magazines or a stack of newspapers or a phone book or you know, just something that you can push down, not a hard table, cause that won't work. Now I am going over my lines with just a dull pencil. You can also use a ballpoint pen, those work great. The back of a paintbrush, pretty much anything that can push into the metal. I am pushing kind of hard but not so hard that I'm going all the way through my paper and not so hard that I'm breaking my pencil. Just kind of a constant line and then it will transfer the lines I make onto the back of the um, piece of metal. After that, I'm just gonna go over all my lines. I'm gonna hit all of the details. I can add little bits more right now if I'd like to. But this is when you are gonna press it into the metal. Now, if you don't do this on top of a newspaper or a book or a magazine or something, it probably, your lines probably won't transfer too much and you might have to go over the lines again. If you don't push hard enough, you also might have to go over the lines again. Every once in a while, I'm gonna flip it over and check to make sure I haven't missed anything, but then I'm just gonna continue and I'm just gonna go over my lines. Take your time with it, push it in hard enough, but not so hard that I'm ripping the paper or breaking my pencil. That's why ballpoint pens work really nice. You can see where you've already drawn and what lines you haven't gone over yet. You can also do that kind of with a pencil. Keep going, don't get discouraged if you think it's taking too long, remember, um, illuminated capitals really look the best with tiny little bits and bits and that takes time to add all those little bits so um, you know just take your time with it this project can last a couple days you don't have to be done the first day so relax have fun with it and keep going I'm gonna go over all of the designs on my um, border too remember we need decorative borders on all of these just little bits and bits make these things look really great. Now, even if you do think you're doing it perfectly, um, you may need to go over some of these lines after you transfer them all onto your metal from the paper. You may have to take the paper over and go over the lines again because there's always something you miss or something you just didn't press hard enough again or some of the lines kind of bleed together. You might have to um, work on that. And so don't get discouraged by that either. Right here, I'm about to finish going over all the lines I had um, with my original design. I'm even adding some more right now because I thought it needed some more stuff. And that's okay to do. You can do that during this stage too. But after you're done, you're gonna take all of your paper off and you're gonna look at it. And maybe there's some lines, maybe I wanna kind of thicken up something like these um, plant, um, that are kind of winding around my letter. I'm doing that right now. I'm going over them to make those lines thicker. And um, you can do that. You can almost color stuff in to make stuff kind of bulge out. And I'm doing that on the ends of my W2. There are some special tools they sell for this, but right now I'm just using the back of a paintbrush because pretty much anything works um, to do this kind of tooling. So anything you may find around the house might be great. Now these can look great just like this, and that's fine if you're at home and you don't have any more stuff to finish it with, like Sharpies or spray paint, but I'm gonna show you how to use that kind of stuff in the next section.